Hello. It's fucking Pokemon time. How's everybody doing today? Um, I am, I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I'm doing pretty, pretty, pretty chill today. Just kind of, just kind of vibing. Yeah, it's just, it's a slow day today. Um, <clears throat> uh, I feel like every person on the planet is streaming tonight, so that's probably <laughs> part of the reason why. But then also today has just been kind of slow in general, so. Um, I feel like people are, people just in general kind of seem tired today. It's an exhaust it's an exhausted kind of day. Uh which I get. It's totally, you know, it's Friday. Uh thank God. TGIF, am I right? Um my entire apartment this morning. That that rules. I got to I got to get on that vibe soon for sure. Friday or as I like to call it Sunday. Ooh, why? <laughs> Um, we're gonna play more Pokemon today. Um, I'm still feeling pretty, like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling pretty out of it, but I, I definitely kind of feel like this might be another shorter one. I just wanted to play more tonight, so I'm not lagging too much behind. Um, so I gotta, I gotta find a way for me to properly balance this and God of War at the same time, because, you know, every time I want to stream right now, it's like a 50-50 toss-up between Pokemon and God of War, officially, and that's what it was today. I was like, should I play more Pokemon, or should I continue God of War? Because God of War is like, oh, God of War is hitting. Ragnarok is an incredible game so far. Um, But of course, Pokemon just came out, so it's like, you know, I gotta... It's 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 the decisions one has to make as as someone who elected to stream uh three major game releases in the same month. Oh, so yeah, we finished Frontiers uh a while ago. We finished it on Sunday. Um if you're coming from the main channel, like if you saw my my highlight video and came over, um uh, the reason why you might be surprised to hear that is because that video was released after I had already finished the game, basically. I finished the game in less than a week, and um, the highlights come out on a weekly basis, so it's going to be a little slow. Although I was thinking, I was actually thinking of maybe, I don't know, editing a portion of it myself just to kind of like maybe do like a little halfway through the week entry, but also at the same time, I don't want to miss out on the potential of 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 Ellie editing the footage <laughs> because she's so good at it. And I'm like, you know what? I always just I always just like seeing it. You know, it's 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 very like I I I feel like there is no way in hell that I could ever do better than she does with with my stream footage. Um and so I'm like it's almost like a missed opportunity to to edit something myself. <laughs> this that one has at least one really cool moment. Yeah, it's the the I'm excited to see the full context of the screenshot you sent me. She sent me a screenshot of a bit today and it's the prospect of it is exciting. Um but yeah, anyway, so th so those might be those might be coming out for the foreseeable future, and then I'm gonna have to find I'm gonna have to figure out what the fuck I want to do about Pokemon because I I feel like I definitely want to get um that first stream at least on the main channel at some point, but like at this rate, that would have to start like mid December. <laughs> no, don't make me look like a bad gamer. What the fuck? It's not true. It's 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 Jack and Daxter all over again. Was it you? It was you. Anyway, so last time, last Pokemon stream, we basically just got to the school. I don't even like. We're not even in like the game proper yet, which is funny. 
we're still like at the beginning of the game. It's just that you can spend like three or four hours at least in the opening like route of of the of the map, uh, which is great. I love that. I think that's that's extremely fun. Um, and I was having a fantastic time, so I'm I'm just very excited. Are you feeling about the game so far? I love it. I I honestly I think it's great. Um, I know I know the conversation on Twitter, and I guess just in general. I mean, you know, I I shouldn't just say it's only Twitter, but like I know the conversation is like, oh my god, it runs so horribly. It looks fucking awful, and it's like, you know what? You're not wrong, but at the same time. I'm really just like enjoying the game itself. Like I cuz like personally obviously ideally yes I want a more polished game. I want a game that that runs better and looks better and all that stuff. But like I truly like I have not I mean I haven't run into anything super busted and overall it's not much worse than I expected. It's a little worse than I expected. Like a little bit. But it's not much worse. Um so, like, I'll take it, you know? I mean, like, I just don't, like, I'm at a point now where I'm like, dude, with Pokemon, like, I cannot fucking imagine the position that Game Freak is in, trying to pump these games out, and they only ever constantly get, like, more and more ambitious. Like, these newer ones, at least, are, like, getting more and more ambitious because that's what the fans want, right? Like, they don't want, they don't want another Pokemon sword, right? They They don't want, like, a like an old style Pokemon, everyone's like, nah, make it like, make it more ambitious, do cool new things with it. And so Game Freak's like, okay, we'll do cool new things with it. And I think that's great. But then at the same time, they still are like locked into the same fucking annual release cycle that I assume comes top down from the Pokemon company or like the shareholders and whatnot. And it's like, okay, well, what do you do then? You know, like it's, it's so like, it's, it's a triangle. It's a pick two triangle. Something's going to give. You either get it like a, like a like an annual series that's highly ambitious but not at all polished, or you get a polished game that's ambitious and it takes a while to come out. And unfortunately, one of those things on the triangle is like company mandated. They literally cannot help but put these games out on a schedule that satisfies. The company um otherwise you know they'll like get in trouble somehow you know they'll either like just uh, something shitty would happen like i don't actually know what would happen but like you know um they i mean i i assume the best case scenario is that they would fucking get pokemon taken away from them which that would suck too um so i don't know i don't know i I wouldn't have mind waited for for I wouldn't have minded waiting for longer for a more polished game IMO. Yeah, but it's not up to you. That's the thing, right? Like, like I'm not saying it's the fans' fault that the series is annual. I'm saying literally, top down, the higher ups are saying Pokemon needs to be a yearly release. This is something they are mandating the studio to do. It it, it has nothing to do with whether people would wait longer, right? Because we've been saying for years. I feel like everyone's been saying for years. Stop releasing these things annually. Like, take longer, polish them. It's fine. We'll wait a little bit, right? But from the top down, like, they literally cannot do that. Like, they can't do it until some executive decides that they want to listen to the fans, right? It's not up to Game Freak to determine the scheduling of these games. Um, they are literally in a position where they have to put these things out. So it's either... They put them out and they continue making them like small kind of budget titles that the fans are going to be like really pissed off about like Pokemon Sword or alternatively. They do their best to make something ambitious, even though they really don't have enough time to do so. And, you know, it can still be a good game, but like, yeah, it's going to run like shit, <laughs> you know, and like, honestly, me personally, personally. I don't mind that it runs like shit. I mean, I mind. Like, I would, again, I would prefer it run better. But knowing the situation, like, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? I really like a lot of what's here. I wish it was better. I wish Pokemon Company would fucking give them more time. But, like, what's here, I really appreciate. I appreciate that they're going this ambitious route with it. 
I hope that this is just something that they can they can polish up over time. And you know, maybe the next game has less innovation, but they're able to take this structure and polish it up. Um, but that's that's just a matter of waiting and seeing. Because then at that point, it's like, okay, well, do people want that? I feel like if if people I don't know, if people focus too much on the performance of this one, the wrong message might be taken from it, and we could just go back to, like, <laughs> you know, Pokemon Sword. Which, honestly, you know, y'all know me. I am, I'm resident Pokemon Sword, not Pokemon Sword Defender, but I'm Pokemon Sword Enjoyer. Um, I get why people don't like it, and I think there's a lot of valid criticism. Um, but also... That's like my favorite Pokemon game so far. <laughs> and and I say this as a very I'm a very mild Pokemon fan, by the way. Again, just just for context, I'm very much not emotionally invested in this series. I am a I am a casual ass casual Pokemon fan, right? So take everything I'm saying with that with that context. Um But I but I am familiar with the industry at large and I and I do, you know, feel like I have a good way about understanding kind of the the give and take you gotta expect from the stuff here because game dev like it doesn't come out of nowhere it comes from real people with real lives real energy and like stamina limitations that are you know underneath real fucking capitalistic systems that require labor and output from them whether they're able to like feasibly make it work or not, you know, like it's it sucks. So I like I don't even like I don't blame Game Freak for the performance of this game. I think like yeah, Game Freak doesn't want to make bad art, and you can you can see it. You can see with just the the ambition of this game and and the way that they've like expanded the the core gameplay loop to this like insanely cool open world format. It's like you can tell they want this to be like special, but like. They just, they just, they're just being held back. Um, obviously, they don't want to make a bad game. Obviously, like, I am, I am certain every single person at that studio is like, God damn, I wish this ran better. <laughs> you know, like, I'm sure they are exactly in the same boat everyone else is, but they literally can't help it. Anyway. Yeah, the triangle was picked for them. Yeah. It was it was it was picked for them by both the higher ups and the fans because fans have been saying, you know, hey, we don't want the same game over and over again. We want you to be more ambitious. And then on the other end, so so that's one side of the triangle. Then on the other end, the the company saying, hey, do whatever you fucking want with these games, but they got to come out yearly. That's the second choice of the triangle, and you can't have all three. So they picked those two, and unfortunately, <laughs> I guess that means polish goes out the window. Cause other, cause then you know, if you try to do all three, you are no exaggeration, literally killing people, right? <laughs> and it's like, y'all, I'll t I'll take a fucking twelve frames per second video game <laughs> over actually killing people, right? Like, I, like, can we really think about that? Can we think about that? I'll I'll do it. <laughs> I don't I don't care. Um, anyway. <clears throat> you explode. Yeah, actually, instantly. The moment you're like, I'll do all of them, your body actually just, like, blows up. It's crazy. Anyway. Um, all that being said. <clears throat> uh, I am excited to play more of this. <laughs> I know we're, you know. This is a somewhat negatively tinted conversation, um, but I am uh, I'm excited. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's play more. I'm gonna maybe go like. Also, I love this title screen, by the way. The ambience is weirdly intense, but I love the art. Um, yeah, I don't know. Wait, did I say this? Or I was going to say, um, 
I'm gonna say, uh, I'm, I might go a little less intense with the voice work today. Because I think that really, I mean, that really played a role uh, in, like, how... How little I was able to stream yesterday. <laughs> I, I was, like, not ready for that. Um, looking for Nimona. Looking for Nimona? She got called to the staff room just now. Okay. What are we, what are we doing again? Also, yeah, I think, think saying this game runs as good as most, uh, this game runs better than most AAA games is like, like you're, you're reaching, <laughs> you're reaching at that point. Cyberpunk was, the cyberpunk is not representative of the games industry as a whole. Like, you know, as much as we like to throw around buzzwords, like <laughs> it's literally not true. Like, why do you think people throw cyberpunk around so much? Because it's an exception. It's like a huge example of someone falling flat on their face in a way that was notable to people, right? <laughs> well, well, you want to talk to me? And it wouldn't be notable if it happened all the time. Yo, new, t new kid, glad to have you. Welcome to the Academy. All right, I'm gonna stop talking to these freaks. Hey, also, they run like... What, what was up with them in that cutscene? They run perfectly fine here. That's so funny. Even the ones from far away. Their books are flashing, though. You can now move around the school. Try checking out places on the map where you see that someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> Just location and start exploring. Oh my god. Dude, Persona vibes. Person who's only played Persona 5 playing their first new video game. Hmm. This is giving me Persona vibes. Let's go to the cafeteria. Welcome! Hope your studies are going okay. What do you laugh today? he enters the school this is giving me persona vibes dude this is no you know what i'm gonna start every time i see a school in a video game i'm gonna i'm gonna be the i'm gonna be the the outlier and i'm gonna say hey this is giving me trails of cold steel vibes and just see like what kind of looks i get um i want a peanut butter sandwich dude this one. Avert your eyes, chat. No. Oh my god, NVIDIA's. I literally love NVIDIA so much. She has such a cute little face. Look at that. What? No. I didn't want to leave. In far off regions. I heard that in other regions, people like to eat rice covered in this stuff called curry. Have you ever had curry before? Oh yeah. Oh, I've had curry. That was in uh, that was that was a big thing in Sword, right? If I remember correctly. Meal powers. I'm ready for seconds. Whoa! <laughs> These fucking honeycomb motherfuckers are like, why is this guy looking at me like that? He's talking about the British. Dude. Those are real. Whoa. Oh, these funny characters. Oh my God, who are you? <laughs> you have a crazy design. Your hair. What the fuck? Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. <laughs> Not evil at all. Oh, pardon me. Oh, NVIDIA, hey. She looked awesome. 
Good eye. Wait, you're Australian? She sure is. That lady is, uh, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, or once you've done all that, all that's... Oh, that's ooh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> the way this... Dude, I hate the English language. <laughs> so fucking much. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test. The Champion Assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study we, yeah, we've got going on here. Should happen soon. I can't, oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I can already tell. This is going to be another rough one for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I still like my brain. My brain is mush. I don't know what it is. My brain is all mushy. One sec. I just realized the saturation is lower than it should be on my game capture. I don't know if that was noticeable for anybody. Um, Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. I guess you could say... Oh, hold on. That lighting was awful. Fuck. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. You can just go do it. <laughs> just whenever you want. Dude, what the fuck? The Pokemon gym locations have been added to your map app. Victory Road. Give it some thought. I don't get how to solve this one here. So that problem. So colorful. What are you talking about? A lot of the teachers here are real colorful characters. I need to try harder to stand out. Oh, you're not doing so hard already. No. No, I want to talk to this lady in the back. She looks, she looks cool as fuck. Hello, NVIDIA. Feel free to come ask me questions anytime. <laughs> no questions to ask, apparently. I want to ask you questions. <laughs> Who are you? Taking time out of your day to attempt to converse with me? You must be absolutely mad. Okay, Ryfort. Ah. Let's go. Let's talk to the captain. I, I actually never... I realized I never talked to... The dude on the... The dude. Where is he? Oh, he's right here! Oh my god, he was fucking hiding from me. <laughs> Where do you see my hair? <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Uh, oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. It's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Don't need to tell me your name. Video, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. 
Nuki to shut up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today. I should talk with you. Our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What? What? What do you want to like start a podcast or something? <laughs> Caught your interest, have I? It's a it's a real time play podcast, real real play D and D podcast called uh, Ghosts and Dice. <laughs> title pending. Title pending. Title pending. <laughs> you want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real uh, health food, see. Found this book the other day, had a section about these uh, Herba Mystica things. Basically, there are some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Like, did I ask to, like, hear about any of this? <laughs> what are you talking about? Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing. Uh, provide nutrients, prevent aging. It'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Baldea, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by the Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. You see, Titans are... Well, I think they've got to be... Uh, things like this. <laughs> ah! Scary, right? Ah! As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. So we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Dude, these are so scary fucking Bigfoot pictures. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. I never heard the end of it if I went crawling to that student council, girl. Why'd you say girl like that? But here you waltz up. You've got to help me with this. You'd be perfect. Okay, fine. No! Wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be titans in your map app for you. Just don't go there, you'll die, and then don't come crying to me about it. Titan's layers have been added to your map app. <sighs> Let us sue a bit. We can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. Take this! Ow! What the fuck? <laughs> Little gift for listening and all. In a bag of start, you just have that on hand? <laughs> what a treasure. <laughs> Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a loose silky feel. It can be sold at a low price to shops. Give the idea some serious thought, please! Okay. Do I have any thought to give it? This is NVIDIA, correct? I have your smartphone so I can talk to you. <laughs> if you don't mind, bitch. I'm, I'm sorry. Who are you? Who's this? Who are you? My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, NVIDIA. 
You know that team star, right? Uh, personally. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school, try to bring other students down to their level. And refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. Uh, my prediction is that this is Penny. I, I actually think this is Penny. So I come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Opera- Oh, Starfall? That's- that's- that's like Sonic Frontiers. But I need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Yes. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. I changed the voice to closer to what I think I did for, for me at the time. Ah, Miss NVIDIA. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Use your fucking AirPods. Oh, hey, when you're in public, you need to not play music from your speaker if you're on the fucking train. <laughs> it, it's the, you are the worst kind of person. I'll be more careful. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. Like being on that damn phone all the time. Okay. Boomer ass piece of shit. Wish I had a phone. Wait, no I don't. Whoa! Ding dong dong ding! Hello, it's me again! Calling Miss NVIDIA to the director's office, please. Once again. Miss NVIDIA to the director's office, please. Ooh! Guys, I'm not in trouble! Ooh! I didn't do anything! Miss NVIDIA is not in trouble. Ooh! God damn it. Please don't tell my mom! Whoa. Ah! Cleaning all this up is gonna be such a pain. What'd you drop your frames on the floor? Oh, Lisa! Oh, are you okay? Yes. I got it. I know the answer. I know how to fucking astral shift <laughs> into the present plane. Director's office. We just, we just talked. You couldn't tell me what you wanted to fucking tell me then? We just spoke to each other, my man. Mm, thank you for coming, Miss NVIDIA. Have you been enjoying your time here at Narana Academy? I just got here. No. I... I see. Uh, do you remember I'm always here to lend a ear should you find yourself struggling in any way? Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. Oh, let me assure you there's a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? <laughs> Seems that a friend of mine is a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh, please tell me it's the professor. Please. Ah, no. I'm afraid they aren't actually here in the room with us. Uh, one moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Please. 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 Ah! <laughs> Hello. Hello, NVIDIA. It is nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea. At a site known as Area Zero. 
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Bro, does she have fangs? Does she? Oh my god. Uh, the professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Check and thirst a little bit. Just don't be, like, weird about it. <laughs> just, just be normal. Um, well, allow me to get straight to the point. NVIDIA, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon, uh, Koraidon. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh my god! Oh, she does! Oh my god, she has fucking... She has pointy teeth! That's insane. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Uh, not that I... Uh, I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Uh, with what? Hey, what's up? Holy shit, how did I get here? Dude. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It's been quite a while since we last met. Oh, hey. Hey, it's mom. I, I mean, it's, uh... Crying I was once in my care, you see. Yeah, that. It's Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Crydon on my behalf? What? Oh. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. I do appreciate your agreement. What the fuck? Crydon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. Oh, oh yeah, you're one to talk. You try fucking beating the shit out of people with claws and... I, there's a guy that's literally a goddamn magnet, okay? Have you ever punched a fucking magnet? It hurts. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. Oh, okay. I'll <laughs> provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. Oh, are you gonna share fucking Discord IDs too? Yeah. Why can't- Hey, why don't you ever add me to the group chat? Huh? I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Oh, but you're not gonna fill me the fuck in? What is going on here? Does nobody like me? See you later. Do, do you not love me? I- Dude! I- She- didn't even talk to me. But this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero. Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Is it Sada or Sada? Do we know for sure? I feel like I've heard both. Well, it seems the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. Probably Sada considering the language. Yeah, that's why, I mean, that's why I started saying it like that, but I wasn't sure. Um, I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Koraidon. Is that it? <laughs> Hello? Excuse me. Oh, you're still here. I'm still here. Ugh, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Oh, no, I'm kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Too much of a pussy to do anything cool. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, NVIDIA! Let's go check it out. Dude, this looks like my home. Ta 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 John! From today on, this is your room, NVIDIA. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. 
Maybe check out your new bed? Looks comfy. You must be pretty worn out from all this uh, stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. This is just like hit GBA game, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Dude, no way. I can taste the grain. Oh yeah, thank God we don't have any stickers on that. <laughs> Whoa! The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naran Academy. And then at the last, uh, then, at, then at last the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. We don't get to do daily classes and, and uh, listen to questions and, like, sit there with uh, Karaidon uh, in our backpack and the teacher is like, Hey, all y you students, hey, all of you fucking suck. I literally hate all of you. Um, what's the what's the uh, word for uh, good good day in Spanish? And then you, you have to, you get a multiple choice option. And then if you say uh, uh, buenos dias, uh, then... The, the, all the kids in the class are like, oh my god, dude, I thought she was gonna kill us, but actually, maybe, now I'm starting to think she might be a normal person, and then, fucking, uh, Karaidon, uh, pops out of your backpack, and he's like, hey, wait a second, do you think we can maybe have many, uh, <laughs> buen <laughs> Buenos Dias is out on our adventure? <laughs> try to become the Pokemon champion. Yeah, and then your teacher throws a piece of chalk at you. <laughs> I, listen. I'm waiting for something here. I, I have a much more succinct version of this same exact joke that uh, did numbers on Twitter and uh, finally led to a fucking uh, uh, Penny Parker has been forgiven by the Persona community redemption moment. <laughs> The Persona community has forgiven Penny Parker for making the funny joke about the classroom scenes. <laughs> anyway. Attention all students. Today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, where I will explain in more detail. Okay, I'm starting to think this is... Dark. This is Clavel, which makes it really funny to me that he would, like, have, like, an announcer voice like that. That he just uses. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Okay, but first I gotta wash my dishes. Make a sandwich. Dude, we got a little we got a little mini portable stove. That's awesome. I have to piss. I can't. All right, well, I'll just wing it. Let's go. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. Do something new, old man. What? You've all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. We're sick of the fucking treasure. Ex shut up. Explore Paldea's abundant nature. So, you discover the Pokemon that live here. You're making me skip my cue cards. Get to know the people, too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. 
You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And fucking be bored to sleep! Find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! Yeah, she has the kitty mouth. Yeah, she's- <laughs> Yeah, this dude's sending like... Fucking five-year-olds out here. <laughs> go, go out into the wilderness. And find treasure. Find, go out into the wilderness, find treasure, babies. Rockruff! Oh my god, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclazar, we're riding out. Take care, everyone, and remember, the Great Crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. So we're gonna enter that right away, right? What are you waiting for, NVIDIA? Let's go! Let's go. And it's raining, of course it's fucking raining. It's always raining when the cool things happen in my video games. NVIDIA! NVIDIA! The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. What, what do you mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question, since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Oh, the treasure hunt is a huge part of the Naranha Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. Oh, so they're just telling us to fuck off? <laughs> like, they just don't want to, like... They just don't want to run a school, so they're like, Okay, everybody leave campus for months at a time, please. <laughs> We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paul Day has got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms, you could help people out in need. Uh, you can hunt for a real capital T treasure if you want it, even. Oh, there's stuff we'd never learn in a sitting in a class. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Yeah, I also am not gonna learn anything uh, sitting in a classroom after only a week. Like, even the things I can learn in a classroom, I'm not learning right now. <laughs> Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? Yes, actually. You can try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd get, that'd get you on your way easy. Was that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? You know, Yuji Naka just got arrested for that. Arvin! Insider advantage. Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that she check out the gyms. It's up to NVIDIA whether she goes. Pretty is gonna have her hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. She doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and her are going to be too busy visiting the lairs of titans, nabbing their Herba Mystica. En serio, don't go filling her head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite her along. It's still up to NVIDIA whether she goes, right? Uh. Huh? NVIDIA, your phone's ringing. Hey, NVIDIA. Cassiopeia here. About Operation Starfall. Remember <laughs> I told you before? <laughs> These... <laughs> oh, this is... Like, it's it's so... Like, obviously, okay, it's a kid's game. It's whatever. It's not going to be the most, like, succinct delivery of this stuff because it's meant to, like, very clearly communicate this to every age and approachability level possible. But also, it's so funny how clear exactly what they're trying to do here is. 
and like how kind of clunky it is as a result. Like, I don't mind it. It's just funny. Uh, Team Star is made up of five individual squads and each one's got their own base. Yeah, th these are the things you can do. Yeah, exactly. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. Heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. The, the Dark Crew. Team Starbase has been added to your map app. Map app! Map app! Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second! Where are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those bugs are a serious hazard. They're not NVIDIA's problem. That's right. She's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. That was up to NVIDIA to decide whether she goes or not. Wasn't that what you said? Bitch. <gasps> How do you know my... This is Penny. <laughs> this is fucking... This is clearly Penny. I'm looking forward to seeing... <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off in video. Bye. What's that all about? NVIDIA, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here. I'm trying not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm going to battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. I just keep trying to become the strongest. I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Oh, sorry, that was a meme I downloaded. One sec, here's the real one. Oh shit, sorry, that's a screenshot of some head-ass shit I saw on Twitter. Hold on. Here. It's a building. Yeah, of course it's a building. Oh, I, I, sorry, I'm, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. I just thought it was gonna be like, I don't know. It's just kind of a building. Yeah. It says gym on it. And? Okay. Oh, and I know we've been running on mouths, but it's what your call what to do, NVIDIA. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. Except if you don't come with me, then just know I have a gun in my shoe. I'll, I'll use it. I know how, I promise. And, and you don't want to, you don't want to know how much I know how. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Ah, he shot me. And, hey, and also, uh, me too. <laughs> Dude, did you fucking say sandwich? Dude, this guy knows, uh, okay, okay, NVIDIA? I don't fucking know what I don't, I don't know what you want to do, but like, we're gonna be hanging out together. I want you to know I need my sandwiches, dude. I need them like, ASAP. So if you want to like, what would you come out for? I didn't come out. I'm not ready. Oh my gosh! Did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> no, don't don't make fun of me. Don't fucking make fun of me. Well, you're not getting one. What the fuck? I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. I'm two seconds away from killing this guy. Seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, NVIDIA? Press the plus button to jump onto Coridon. You'll find you can get around more quickly. When you're on Coridon's back, you can press the B button to have a jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the B button again to get off Coridon and walk. Or I didn't say it is a B button. I think it's just a... Dude, don't touch me. I'm not kidding. If you get closer, something real bad's gonna happen to you. I, I, and I'm not going to say what it is because it's an E-rated game. But I just want you to know, you're on thin ice. You and me, we're not, we're not like that, okay? You gave me a sandwich one time, and I thought it was pretty cool. 
I'm gonna say, like, I said some stuff. I currently regret. But I want, I want you to look me in the fucking eyes, and I want you to know. <laughs> you touch me. I'm gonna drive straight off the nearest cliff. Immediately. And that's a promise. Dude, I'm gonna fucking... Okay. All right. Well... I hope you like the ocean. Hey, can you swim? I hope not. Whoa, it transformed! Now it really looks like some kind of weird cyclizar. It looks like, like some kind of weird nerd ass <laughs> toilet face nerd. <laughs> You've got crying on. You can go pretty much anywhere. Probably is your cloister. <laughs> huh? Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since NVIDIA is actually headed to take out uh, to take on some gyms, I'd take over the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. And the phone comes up and it's like, take the South Gate. If you... <laughs> Operation Starfall. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, NVIDIA. Where's the cliff? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure hunt has finally begun! This special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for a treasure all your own. Hmm. Yeah, can I head west? A history class? A home ec class of it? What? No way! Oh, so we can still take classes. That's awesome. Dude, Mordecai, try to keep up. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. He's so cool. Dude, no. Okay. Well. Fuck. We can just kind of do whatever we want. So, that being said, so this is, that's a Starfall thing, I think. And of course, the gym is over here. I think right now, I think right now I definitely want to focus on Starfall and gyms. So, I think, yeah, going, uh, going whichever way this is, I think this is... I don't actually know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a direction. Oh, it's west. Yeah, going, going through the west gate is going to be the way to go. Because, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hit up a Starfall Island on the way. We'll set that as a destination. In the meantime, though... Actually, let me pull the map back up. So I want to know, are there other clothing shops? I want to. I want to get out of this uniform. <laughs> I'm desperate. I'm desperate to not be wearing this anymore. This place just sells bags. This place sells knickknacks. Uh. Shopping online. Shopping online. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of shopping online. Nothing beats being able to see the product firsthand. I'm finally out of class. I hope I don't see any bikes. Oh! See, there's rough and tough. Just not quite it. I have bad news for the fashion in this game. Is is the bad news that you can't change out of the school uniform? I hope not. Really? No way! Uh, wait, wait, but then why the fuck... 
Wait, hold on. But then why the fuck is there... There's a... There's a... There's a shirts and pants. There's a shirt... Oh. Those are the different kinds of uniforms you can... Oh, man. Oh, gross. <laughs> I don't like that. What the fuck? Why? Um Okay. All right. Well, let's that that really honestly that just deflated so much of my excitement. I'm not going to lie. I know it's like I know that's a little weird, but like the fashion was like one of my favorite fucking things about sword. Like, like, why would they? Why? Why would they do that? You're you're not even at the school most of the time, it seems. Like you got this whole fucking world where like the school is not. Why would you do it like that? Oh man. Okay, um... Well, then I guess we're sticking with what we currently have. Let's go! Would have been cool too with the vast space in different areas. Yeah, well, I th yeah, I thought I thought for sure. I mean, that's fucking what that's what Sword did. You got like different kinds of clothing shops based off of the different like areas of the region you were in. You know, you'd go to like the snow area and you got like a bunch of like winter clothes and shit. And it was like, it was awesome. It was really cool. What the fuck? That seems like such a huge step back. Um. <laughs> Am I good with this team? Yeah, Mordecai, Piecrust, Bree, Crash, Kevin, and Mo Cherry. Um. Hmm. So the gym we're going to is Bug. Which means we probably want to have we want to have a fire type on hand. Is there is there a way is there a way you can? I'm I'm generally asking. Is there a way in chat you can uh or not in chat? Is there a way in game you can check type matchups? I think it generally really only tells you in battles. Okay. Well, damn. I gotta do my best to remember then. Um, I wonder if we'll we'll get proper like. Proper types that we need on the road over there. We'll see. Either way, let's head out. Keep going west. Oh my god. Hey, it's me, Nimona. We should call and catch up, uh, catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decided to set out heading west from the school, right, Nidia? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cor uh, Cordondo. That's where you'll find the bug type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her, Nvidia. Good luck. I'll call you soon.
All right. Hello. Enjoy picnicking. My poor bag's full to bursting with ingredients. Here, let me share some with you. Nice. Put ingredients in your bag's picnic items pocket. Sandwiches are best when you eat them outside. Try making some of the stuff I gave you. Hey, since you're here, wanna have a picnic so you can rest up a little? Yeah, let's let's learn about this. You and your Pokemon look like you're all full of energy. Come again anytime. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I guess... <laughs> I guess now we learn about it. All right. Um, it, let's do it in the middle of the road. You can enjoy picnics together with a Pokemon in your party. If you're playing in a group with friends through the Union Circle, you can also have picnics with friends. You won't be able to set up a picnic table in the middle of a town or where there isn't enough space to get everything out or on inclines where things might go sliding off your table. Look for wide open level spots outside of towns when you want a picnic. Like the middle of the road. The most convenient spot. Okay, well here's all my guys. Uh Come here. Everybody come hang out. Mordecai, what's up, buddy? Oh, we can wash Mordecai. Whoa. Your Pokemon get dirty, you can give them a nice wash to have them looking fresh and clean. Doing so can have all kinds of nice benefits, including restoring their HP, making them feel more friendly towards you. Alright. Duck. Time to get clean. What? You don't like that? Oh, look at him. His hair is so nice. I love him. I I really, I love him a ton. All right, you too, LeChonk. Oh, you're not LeChonk. That's fine. <laughs> ah! Stop! You just got clean! There we go. You need so much soap. Right on. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Dude, don't. Don't even. I really... I'm not that dirty. And also, listen, I'm a fucking animal. I got my own... I got my own methods of cleaning myself, okay? You're not about to put that sponge on me. I'm... This is so demeaning. This is so demeaning. This is you... Do you understand how... Do you know how it might feel if someone were to do this to you? Get that shit off of my face! Get it off of my... Oh my god. Okay. Honestly? Okay, actually, those kind of feels good. Oh! Oh, it's cold! Oh, it's cold! That's really fucking cold. Oh. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I don't know. Maybe I need to chill. Uh, let's eat. Can I make a sandwich? No! No! Hi there! There's no sandwich ingredients. We gotta go. Then why do you set up the table? <laughs> oh, Mordecai leveled up. Nice. Whoa, what was the... What? Huh? Oh, dude, the way the... Oh, the way the LOD operates is so funky. 
I like it. <laughs> I actually kind of live for that. Oh, come on. It's so wavy. Ugh, I'm so careless. Well, I couldn't care less. I can't believe I forgot to buy ingredients. Maybe a rumble will calm my rumbling tummy. Dude, you and me both. Oh no. I'm so sorry for the fucking pain I am about to in I'm about to inflict upon you. Oh no. You simply do not know what's coming. Goodbye. time. And now you are gonna see me get even stronger. Oh, two can play at this game. Oh yeah, watch this. Dude, Pycrest is gonna kick your ass. <laughs> watch this. Boom! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, I'm so scared! Oh, I'm so scared! Just kidding, motherfucker! Goodbye. We did, in fact, defeat no other student. I'm so disappointed. Uh, yeah. And I bet your mother is, too. I would know. Had a great time with her last night. What the fuck? Have you seen the ten sights of Paldea? No, <laughs> I really don't care. Honestly, here's the thing. I think overall it's it's cool that uh, trainer battles are optional now. For me, it's probably a bad thing because I feel like I'm gonna opt out of most of them, <laughs> which is really gonna put me in a in a bad way. What is this? You may spot gleaming crystals and uh, emitting a brilliant emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a terror raid battle and try. Oh, it's the oh, it's the raids. Cool. Powerful Terra Pokemon. Battle types of hit against Terra Pokemon with rare Terra types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon, we'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. I will, uh... Oh, what is this? Oh, that's like a... That's a big fuck. That looks like a Dig Dug. <laughs> that looks like a Dig Dug. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ground type. Probably. Uh, water might be fine. I mean, well, at least we're... We'd probably be best to just put it in our highest level. Um, let's challenge as a group. Let's just match up with some people. Oh, God. Oh, no, don't fucking... Don't see... I didn't know they were going to put a fucking code on screen. <laughs> you could have warned me. Nobody use my code. Don't do it. Actually, no, if it's, if it's temporary just for the raid, you can do it. It's fine. It's only local right now. Oh, that's fine. Let's go. Wait, no. Oh, shit. I shouldn't, no. Okay, oh, help has arrived. Awesome.
Hello? <laughs> oh, God. God? <laughs> Whoa! Dude, oh, my squad is so cool. Whoa. <laughs> Transparent. <laughs> he looks like a puppet. That's so funny. That is so funny to me. <laughs> Look out, it's me, Wicklet. Ah, I'm all over the place. Wow. Jesus. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, whoa, the everybody's doing it like it simultaneously? Uh, I don't want this is I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. Ooh. Ooh, look out. There's so many of me. We're paralyzed. Oh uh, dude, dude! What are call outs? Hey, the person on our team next to me just told me that Homestuck fans aren't valid. I don't know. I don't know if we should be fighting with them anymore. This is so confusing to me. <laughs> like, I truly have no idea what's going on. Nice. So, Dude, what ha you got so much shorter? What happened? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> okay. Um, so that was very flashy and cool. I I don't understand the structure of that, though. I feel like so many things were happening at once, but I was also still waiting for my turn a lot of the time. Like, that was really weird. Uh, I don't know if I- I don't know how I feel about that right away. Um. Oh, Wiglet's water type? What? It's weird. Oh, shit. Keep doing that. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just we'll just let them be for now. I was gonna say we could use a ground type, but I guess not. Oh, wait. Oh, so these aren't... So these are like raids. Because that's where we just... That's where we just went. That was that was where we placed our destination before. Where was the... 
Oh, the oh the Starfall ones are different. Got it. Okay. Gym badge. Gym badge. Where's the closest Starfall one? I guess I guess it's that. Titan badge. Okay. Starfall Street. Oh, they're color coded. Um, the circle around. Oh, okay. They're color coded. That helps actually. So blue ones are Starfall Street, which is so fucking funny. Um, the red ones are Victory Road. And green is Path of Legends. Noted. Okay, well, I guess we're just, we're, right now, we're, we're in full-on, like, victory road mode, I guess. Challenging the, uh, the Cortondo Gym. Katie is the leader. AKA the sugar bug. <laughs> this bug type user is a recommended first stop for anyone considering taking on the Pokemon League. Though sweet as a treat, this baker of bug-themed pastry shows a bold streak in battle. Bug-themed pastries. That's awesome. Let's check. Yeah, let's 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 head there. Peach berry. Oh, I need a fire type. I need at least one. I usually. I usually start with- I usually have a fire-type starter, so I'm not used to having a fire-type- or I'm, I'm not used to not having a fire-type on hand. This far into the game. It just doesn't feel right. Use attacks to target with stored power. Awesome. Ow! Where are you? Level 9? Not interested. I actually should be catching a lot of these. I feel like... You're a bug type. For sure. Oh. Okay, I know, I know, I'm passing up a lot here. I understand this. Um, I'm just kind of getting my bearings. This is this is very different. This is very different. Okay, dude. Aw. This is such a cozy little town. Gonna have some nice bottles. Oh, he's the guy who's gonna give me a a reward. Oh shit, I just realized I never went to the first guy who was gonna give me a reward. Oh, we gotta go there next. Hold on. I totally forgot to get my reward from the first guy. There are all kinds of handy functions registered to your directional buttons. Check them out. Use emotes, open camera app, change outfit. Oh, it's, it's on the directional pad. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh, there are different... Okay, there are different uniform types at least. Spring uniform. Ew. <laughs> Autumn, please be cute. Ew! Winter, please, please, please. I'm begging you. Uh, it's fine. This one's fine. I I do think I like it better than the than the shorts. Maybe. I think spring is the way to go. What the fuck? Oh my god. I, y'all, y'all don't know how upset this makes me. <laughs> it's truly like, this is just, I know it's like, I know it's like kind of vapid, but like, this did kind of like knock this game down a peg for me. <laughs> like, not being able, 
Like, why at this point would you go away from the way that Sword did it? I, I truly... Like, I get it's supposed to be... Like, it's a school uniform. I get it. But if you're not spending most of your time at the school... Anyway. This is fine. School gloves... No, you can't change out of that. You have four different uniform types, and you can't you can't get any other ones. Well, I actually don't know about that. I don't know if you can get different uniforms, but you start with these four, and you can't get any like non-uniform clothes apparently. Yeah, straight up, I like. We haven't even seen Professor Sada enough for me to, like, feel good about my decision going with Scarlet if <laughs> if we got to stick with the orange. I mean, orange, I think, works fine with NVIDIA's, like, like general color palette. I know you can accessorize. Obviously, I like, I know you can accessorize. It's great that you can accessorize, but it's not enough. Because in in the in older games, both Arceus and Pokemon Sword and Shield, it wasn't just accessorizing. <laughs> you could change your whole ass outfit. And in a in a game this open and this customization focused otherwise, why would you take that out? You gotta graduate first. I don't know if you're being serious, but I will say, I will, I, I will say it at least. I don't know. Maybe there's like an end game customization system. Maybe. Okay. I, I will say though, this looks a lot better. I'm, I'm not mad about how this looks. This is okay. This is fine. I can, I can get used to this. I can I can become well acquainted with this. I just I wish it was more, you know? I wish it was more. It makes me sad that it's not more. At least the animations are good. Okay. Um Pokemon League Grep having some nice Pokemon battles. One trainer. Five trainers love your pie. Okay, so we need four more in this area to get a price in this guy. What I wanna do. Is I definitely want to. I think I can fly flying taxi to any of these places. So let me go to Mesa goes to south. They took it out for the sandwich mechanic. Then then the sandwich mechanic better be fucking good. <laughs> I'll just say that much. What's the prize? Thunder Wave. Okay. Okay. Oh, is that like a that's, a... that's a guaranteed Paralyze, I think. We could totally... Oh, we should totally give that to Pycrust. That Thunder Wave. Yeah. Weak Jolt of Electricity that paralyzes the target. Very cool. I'm gonna give that to Pycrust right away. Ask for advice. Wants to forget Growl and learn Thunder Wave. Oh. Well, then don't mind if I do. Also, the Bobberson, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. One, two, and ta-da! That's a good, that's a good system. I, I like the, I like that little advice system. Um, that feels good. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else I have on hand that's good against bug type. Because then I might just go ahead and take on the, the bug gym. I should catch more. Let me see. Pokemon type chart. Okay. So bug is... Wait. 
defense and attack. So I'm confused. So grass is super effective against bug. No. I, dude, Pokemon, yeah, grass is demolished, but yeah, okay. Pokemon type charts, I, I can't read these. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can never fucking read Pokemon type charts. Do they, do they have to be a square? Can we not uh, put this information in a more easily readable way? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I found it. All right. Bug. Bug weaknesses. Fire, flying, and rock. So I should have a fire type. And I want to have one as soon as possible. What do I currently have, though? Do I have any... So we have Mordecai, which has a flying type move, which should be good. Um, I don't think we have rock type. What is brick? Brick is just normal type, right? No, brick is water type, right? Okay. But pizza. Pizza's normal. We have the mouse and wiglet, which is uh, I think normal in water. Normal fairy in water. Okay. What about the? The is bug type. Bug is strong against grass, dark, and psychic. So do we have any grass type that we should get out of here? Yes, okay, so uh, Mochieri, you're gonna get the fuck out of here. We're gonna replace you with, I guess, Wiglet. Because water is, it just kind of seems to be standard, uh, standard strength either way. What about Kevin? Kevin's just normal. Kevin's a normal guy. Breeze, fairy only, pie crust is electric, Mordecai is water. That should be fine. Crash, I assume, is just bug, yeah. Alright. Okay, so this is good. And if we find a fire type on the way. Which I don't think we will, because I think we're literally right there. Wait. Let me just. Ooh, we could grab one of you. I have not seen the starter evolutions, no, and I, and, and I don't want to see them until I actually see them, you know. Let's just, uh... Um... I mean, let's just try to catch. Okay, so we got a Fletchling. Normal and flying, cool. Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battles, it, it, its hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. Uh, all right. What is she gonna be named? I mean, oh, I mean the obvious one is right there. You know what? We can change. We can change these. We've already we've already broken the dam of of changing already established Pokemon names. This she's gonna be Margaret. Margaret. Margaret, let me see what you have. A knife. Yes. Okay. She's got Peck. Very cool. You could be higher level. You could be higher level. What are you level six? Yeah. All right. Um. Let's. Get, I guess, Kevin out of here. What? Crash is evolving. Oh, shit. Hi, Crash. Hey, look at this. Watch this. Look at what I can do. <laughs> Whoa. You look like a ghost, Crash. Spupa. Pupa's data has been added to the poke of decks. <laughs> yeah, Crash grew a blanket. Yeah, I guess Crash was just cold. That's fine. 
Um, very cool. What are you? What are you doing? You. You're so flat! Please. Please. I want to talk to you. What are you? No! Oh, give me gold coin. Material accidentally dropped. What is that? What was that? I don't know that guy. I don't know his name. He was just a fucking... Just, it was just the coin ghost. That, I think that was an actual cryptid, yeah. Crazy. Okay, squab it. All right, I need to get out of here. Let's go back to the future. You know that movie? Let's go back here. And then... Let's train up uh, Margaret. Dude, this is it's like a whole fucking fairy type area. That's awesome. As Jigglypuffs. I mean, I I kind of just want to have. Oh, you're level ten. Ooh, that maybe won't work so well for me. You know what? Here, I'll get um. I'll see what Margaret can do. Oh shit. Oh shit, what if I what if I terrestrialize? Are you gonna be Oh you're flying type terrestrialize? Very cool. It's worth it. There's a there's a Pokemon Center right here. Oh yeah, we have a Fido. Her name is Bree. Fuck you, Jigglypuff! Uh oh. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Ow! Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should <laughs> We should catch. Nice. It doesn't seem as difficult to catch Pokemon that are even one level higher than you as it was in, in Sword. Because I, I I remember, like... um, I remember Pokemon Sword. Like, if, if a Pokemon was, like, one or two levels higher than you even, it would fail, like, 30% of, like, Pokeball throws. Hey, the, don't... Don't abuse the is the game good and is the game fun command, okay? Those for those were for Sonic. Don't make those speak for me. You know what? I'm disabling them. That being said, the game is good and fun so far. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but but that's it. You're losing you're losing the commands. Goodbye. Bree wants to learn how to bite? What the fuck? No way. Dude, uh, Bree... <laughs> Bree... <laughs> Bree has a dark side going. Bree wants to forget Tail Whip and learn bite. Um... Really? No, I'm getting rid of Growl. Jigglypuff. 
When its huge eyes waver, it stings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. Would you like to give uh, Jigglypuff a nickname? Yes. Jigglypuff, you shall be... Rounda. Go to boxes. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. The commands are gone. I told you they're they're gone now. I deleted them instantly. The time for exclamation point is the game good and exclamation point is the game fun is over. Okay. Whoa. Mm hmm Um. Yeah, how's Margaret doing level-wise? She was level... She was level 6, right? Did she go from level 6 to 9? That's actually, uh... Actually pretty sick. Uh, so I honestly, I think with one more, or maybe like one or two more battles, uh, she might be good to go. Let's, um, how about you? And you. Idiot! Don't call me that! Don't call me that, okay? Mary. Uh oh. Uh oh! <laughs> Margaret, get out of there! Margaret, get out of there! Wait, what is, uh, what's good against electric? Ground? We don't have that! Fucking Wicklet is water drag. Terra type dragon? Terra type dragon? Dude, sick. Okay, uh, why is Wicklet here? <laughs> Oh, wait, we put Wiglet there. Um, electric. He's strong against water. What about Fairy? Fairy? Is, uh, really has no relation, so... Free is probably the next best thing. Margaret, come back. No, stop! You son of a bitch. I'm so mad. This fucking Mary <laughs> Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Who can play at that game? Watch this. Stop. You are stupid. What? No! I said two can play at that game. I said two can play at that game. Stop! She's already paralyzed. Two can. You. That's it. You're going in the box forever. If static electricity builds in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. Hmm, would you like to give Mareep a nickname? Uh, yeah.
house goes to the box forever. Alright, I think it might be time. I think I'm confident in what we have here. We got we got two flying type powerhouses. Dude, can you stop? I know. Why do you give me a tutorial every time I come here? <laughs> Did I ask? All right, we got a good lineup. We got a good lineup. I'm not um. I'm I'm not even remotely upset about this. This is good. High crust stays right there. Right. Okay. Cool. Do 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 do. Hello. Hola, for fresh produce, look no further than Delicioso. What would you like? Delicioso. Oh, stop you. I just got that. Get egg. Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Uh, no, shit. I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lead you on. I just, I, I'm good. Thanks. Come again soon. This, this town is about to know death. This town is about to know waste. It's about to know. Oh! <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Hey, over here! <laughs> Me fucking swatting a fly out of the air, I guess. Thumbs up! What was the camera? Huh. Oh, I guess I gotta stop. Oh, there we go. There we go. Don't, you can start up the camera app by pressing down button. Move the camera about freely to snap shots of all kinds of places in Pokemon you see. You have the camera open, press the Y button to flip. You want to take fancy or funny photos? Try pressing the left button or the right button to change filters. I can take funny photos? Chat, is this funny? Chat, what if I do this? Is that funny? What about- Oh, what's this? How funny is this? Oh, no. I don't know if that's funny. Oh, it's so cute, actually. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Um. God, Jesus Christ, I didn't know you were so close to the camera. <laughs> hey, no, Mordecai! Mordecai, stop! Mordecai, stand still. Mordecai! <laughs> it's still. Mordecai, hey, look. Hey. Bitch. Bitch, look at the- I can't- I'm, I can't- I don't know anything. What is going on? Wait, look at the camera! Look at the camera! Mordecai! Mordecai! The, why are you st Why are you st Why are you like this? 
Look at the... Am I gonna have to take the goddamn picture like this? Mordecai? Is that what you're making mommy do? And you're sleeping. <laughs> okay. Please. Please. <laughs> this will do it, right? Lens fisheye lens is a filter. What is oh, 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 what happened last night? Mordecai, Mordecai, is that is that you, buddy? Oh, what the fuck? Why are we, why are we in the middle of the road? Mordecai, Mordecai, are you dead? Oh, no, you're breathing. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, God. I, uh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Oh, that's so bright. Oh. Is it... Is that... The gym? Oh, my God. Mordecai. We killed them. I remember now, Mordecai, we killed them all! I'm normal again. Starburst, what is that? D does that look any different? What's di <laughs> What's different about- Oh, is it- Oh, I see. Oh, it like... Makes the- Makes lighting sources... Star-shaped. Boy camera. Some some of these names just like <laughs> stigmatism filter pog. Oh my god, the representation. Cool. <laughs> wow, these filters suck. <laughs> like these are bad filters. <laughs> these are really awful. Why would you ever use these? Chunky. <laughs> I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Oh no. Dude, I just ate the whole buffet last night, man. It was so sweet, but now I feel like shit. Oh, why don't you take some Pepto Bismol? Dude, you know I hate the taste of Pepto Bismol. It's not about the taste, it's about what it does. Yeah, and what it does is it makes me want to pee. Shut up! Welcome to Cortondo. You've come to Cortondo, right in the middle of the Olive Harvest Festival. The gym test here serves as part of the festival, too. Alright. Mordecai, come on in. Time to murder. Oh, hey, NVIDIA! Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. Yes, I knew it! I'm so glad I asked you to do it! Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. 
Here, have these. When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Super potions, huh? I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion, too. It's the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited. I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into! Oh my god. We... We need to evacuate the town. Guys. Guys. Guys, we need to get out of here. Guys, we gotta go. <laughs> Welcome to the Cortando Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is NVIDIA, yes? That's stupid. I'm sorry. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Dude, Snapcube asset artist Katie did. Here at the Cortando Gym, that means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortando. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staffer over at the olive, or the staffer over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location in your map app. It's just to the north of town. Now get out there and have fun. Oh, I gotta roll some fucking olives. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this actual, like, Sisyphean task. Before I can murder her. <laughs> Alright. Where is it? The olive roll. This truck here <laughs> pats the hood. It can hold so many big Pokemon that have long nails and make that sound. We use this truck to transport the olives we grow. Wouldn't believe how busy things get come harvest season. Dude, yeah, that dog is. I gotta get away. That dog is fucking pissed. There's no way. What? Is, what is that? Is that the olive? <laughs> no, please. <laughs> I beg you. Try the olive oil right here. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Hit the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Yeah. Great. Put a new wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. That looks like someone hit X once on the LVP crab apple fabric. Holy shit. That is such a specific cut and I know exactly what you mean. Take on the olive roll challenge. Okay. I'll do it. Let's go. Let's roll this fucking up. big. <laughs> it's so stupid. No way. No way. <laughs> there is no way. Dude. <laughs> I love video games. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see if you can get past my wall of small <laughs> Esmeralda. Or sorry, Esmeralda. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh. No, it's just two wing attack. Ow! <laughs> Boom! Oh. 
Die, please. Die, please. Stop. I'm asking you nicely. Stop. Dude. Oh, my God. You know you're about to die. This is going to work out for you. See ya. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit! Bam bam me. Aqua Jet. You wanna get rid of work up and learn Aqua Jet. Uh really? Dude. I get it's like a balance thing and it's been that way the whole time. But sometimes after playing other like JRPGs recently, I'm like, dude, why? Why can Pokemon only have four moves? <laughs> it's so... Like, I'm always giving something up. Um... No. I, I, I know I just got rid of Growl. I guess I will. I, like, I guess I'll get work up. I don't know. Fine. You're headed right past my small live wall. Mordecai's forgotten work ethic. You know what, dude? I'm getting back to my roots. We used to have such good times at the park until I started getting boring. in the world why why what is going on boing 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 wait, 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 wait. dude no stop <laughs> great awesome <laughs> Jim says, you passed. <laughs> Yay. Boing, boing. <laughs> We're in hell, okay. <laughs> Performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Please report your result to the uh, to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck in getting your battle against Katie. And do it again. Damn, I can't do it again. Worst game ever made. Okay. <laughs> I really hope these gym tests are going to build up and be cool by the end. I liked the... um. I like the gym challenges in Pokemon Sword. That, I don't know. I don't know if maybe I'm just remembering them more charitably in hindsight, but I feel like that one was a lot stupider than most of the ones we got in Sword. So, who knows? I think it's fine though, it made me giggle. Oh yeah, no, I'm not like actively upset about it. I just thought it was so, like, it's so silly. Like, you couldn't have done that a little differently. <laughs> it's like kind of stupid. I like, you know, it doesn't make the game worse for me, but it was just, I like, I'm, I, you know what? Here's the thing, here's the thing. I would rather this game be occasionally stupid than like boring, you know? I'll take it, I don't mind. I know I can use it. You already taught me how to crouch. Didn't they already teach me how to crouch? They already told me I can crouch. We already got a crouch tutorial at some point. Or maybe I, maybe I just figured it out and like 
That's what I'm thinking of. Either way. Hmm. Still adore the crouch slide. Woohoo! It's, it's gonna be a big pog champ moment whenever we find out which Pokemon is gonna be the Rigby to Quaxley's Mordecai, you know? Okay, well, I, I think with that, we're, we're pretty well prepared. Welcome back, NVIDIA! I hear you were on a roll out there! A big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test! You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader! Best of luck! Ready to challenge gym leader Katie the sugar bug? Yeah, I am. Very well! Allow me to show you to the battle court! See, Penny chose the base fabulous starter. Yeah, he's a little duck. He goes, Meh. you know, he goes, Meh, Meh. and like, I, I look at him and I'm just like, dude, you're so right. <gasps> oh, she's cute. Eat up my cute little Vivillon. Vivillon? Vivillon. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Uh, forgive me. My name is Katie, and I'm the owner here at the uh, Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortando Gym right now. Yeah, she actually does have a bit of, like, actual, like, previously mentioned uh, Katie did's vibes. Yeah. She's a little. She, she's got that same kind of kind of cozy. Oh, and, like, the, the way she, like, closes her eyes mm. is very, very Katie did's. Um, which is great, because uh, Katie's a very good friend of mine. Um, forgive me. <clears throat> My name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. The little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon's hiding in foliage. Both are small yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself with your ass beaten. Or challenged by gym leader Katie. Woohoo! Nimble! Go, Mordecai! Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do. <laughs> she is so fucking weird. <laughs> She's awesome. I'll fucking destroy you. Dude, you look like a Swiss army knife. My name's Nimble. Uh, yeah, dude. I know. It's kind of lame. What? What? Dude, that's my line. Literally die, fucker. <laughs> Ooh, struggle bug. Ow. Stop! <laughs> yeah, get attacked, idiot. <laughs> Bye! And that's how it's done. Tarantula, huh? Hmm. Feels like something I can handle. Oh, yeah. This baseball motherfucker isn't gonna know what hit him. Watch this. Oh my god. Oh! oh! Oh shit, dude! I don't know, man. 
I'm kind of hurting a little bit. Can you help? Uh, yeah, hold on here. Uh, uh, uh drink, drink this. Soda. <laughs> Soda. <laughs> I hope you guys like wing attack. Oh! Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, dude. That's what it's about. Teddy Ursa. More like, more like Teddy Wursa. <laughs> oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Hmm, hmm. Just try it. Oh my god. Dude, he's actually really cute. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Uh oh, oh shit, I forgot. Oh no. Oh god, I forgot about I I didn't I, I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. Oh, I should have fucking brought out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Feast your eyes on my shining bug decoration. Though this one is not so sweet. Oh, shit. It's doing the crowd thing again with the music. Ah! Mordecai. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Rigby. Rigby, why? I miss you, bro. <laughs> I'm sending out Margaret. <laughs> You're in charge, Margaret. <laughs> Ow, stop. Get fucked, asshole. <gasps> oh god, Margaret, please. Margaret, no! <laughs> Margaret! I have to avenge my Margaret. No! <laughs> Morde Mordecai! No! <laughs> Hi, I'm Wigglet. That doesn't do damage? <laughs> oh, no, I should have read it. Ow! No! God, okay, all right. <laughs> One sec. Can you get paralyzed? Get paralyzed, idiot. No, no, please, 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 no, no, God, please, Jesus, no. Oh, fuck! Fuck! So I should have done quick attack. 
at some point. How's <laughs> your speed, 21? Bree is probably our best bet. No, you know what? I, I could just I could just revive Margaret. Here, hold on. Margaret. Come back, Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. Oh shit! You didn't do anything. Two revives. No way! Oh, Bria! Bria! Bria, the fucking legend! Yeah, we're about to we're about to get this fucking XP. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when. I will be there for you till the very end. Danger or trouble I'm there on the double You know that you always can call Free Free the Fido Bam 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 So what's the sitch? Call me Bree if you wanna reach me <laughs> All of my sweet little Pokemon drop like flies Oh my god, the, you're right, the pastry chef was just beaten by a pastry! The dramatic irony. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to kill you. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Oh, <laughs> cool! Ah, that's such a cute picture! Wait. Uh, wait. Got it. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon of, of up to level 25 will be easier to catch. And we'll listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? Okay. Pounce. These are attacks by pouncing on the target. This also lowers the target speed stat. Nice. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can't you can then use a TM machine to make copies. Of that to him. You did know that, right? I wish you luck in your future endeavors. May they be as sweet and lovely as it could deserve. Off you go then. Until we meet again. Yeah, she's cute. Hey, NVIDIA! Just had to tell you, uh, my Pokémon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. Had to go to the gym, by the way. Uh, pretty rough. Sh sure, you big joker. I bet you walked out with a badge, didn't you? Did you just call me the joker? I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job past me. I'm training hard too, by the way. Day and night. Going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness you got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm. Speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna want a battle if we run into each other. Oh god, she wants to kill me. Let's go!
What if the Joker could Pokemon battle? <laughs> Why so serious? Anarchy, I choose you! Okay. Damn, it's just a regular battle. That doesn't even make sense. Whoa, whoa. Why are you looking that direction? What? What if... <laughs> just looking at... Are those screens? No. They're on break. <laughs> Yeah, five minutes of looking at a wall an hour. Five minutes of break an hour. That's that's like that's utopian. Oh nice. Cool. Okay. Well that's one thing we did. Margaret, you're so cool. Thanks, Mordecai. I'm Wiglet. Wiglet? You're useless out there. Get back in the fucking box. Well, actually, let's figure out. So, where are we going next? Let's see. We got lots of things to do. Badge flying. Search for the open sky titan. Or mm, the psychic gym badge. Area six. Oh, that's like a. That seems like something we want to not go to right away. Seems pretty tough. Water gym. Dude, I don't know. a lot of stuff to do. Waterfall badge. Fire. You know what? So we we unlock some classes. You remember. Let's go back to let's go back to school. I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe see about getting some better accessories here and then um Let's take some classes, however that happens. Let's go back to school, I know. Uh, not often stated. Is anything up here? Do you care how big your Pokemon are? <laughs> um, I mean, not like entirely. I actually think I prefer little guys. Uniforms are so cool. Oh my god, the propaganda is insane. Whoa, whoa, hold on. <laughs> the way... <laughs> whoa, video, that's so cool. <laughs> Crazy Frog, stop, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. I've absorbed your abilities. <laughs> Do your thing, wind. Are you, are you asking the wind to take their balloons away? Oh no, my balloon! Come back! Balloon, come back! Plain white gloves. Oh shit, that actually that doesn't look bad. So you're telling me... Oh god! You're telling me you can't fucking change out of your color-coded school uniform? And they still expect me to make fucking pink, like hot pink gloves work? It doesn't make sense! Make it make sense! Like, what the- like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this?! <laughs> How is this supposed to work? What the hell?! You want me to pay a thousand Oka coins <laughs> to look bad? No. I'm going to I'm going to pay with my let's play points. I had to guess this is just one of the things that was cut back for time reasons. I was thinking the same thing, but it like... It doesn't make sense to me why... It doesn't make sense to me why. Maybe when you're done you graduate, you don't have to dress up for school anymore. I don't know if that's true, but I have hope. Yeah, I mean, that's what... That's what... Yeah, I mentioned that earlier that I think that's like one of my... I don't know. That's my that's my kind of cope cope style theory that I got going, maybe. We'll see. I do like how that looks. I looked out because I love the winter outfit. I, I am happy for you. I'm happy for you. I can't relate. Time to make neon green shoes work, yeah. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> come on. Olive. Brown. Pastel pink. I mean, honestly, like, the simpler explanation really is just that, like, kids don't care about <laughs> fashion <laughs> for the most part, probably. Like, they'll just be like, oh, pink shoes, I love the color pink, and then, you know, they'll take what they can get. I'm 
I'm fixing this shit for myself. To get a hat, that works. The texture work on these clothes is absolutely bananas, though. Yeah, that's the thing! This is, like, my favorite that Pokemon character and, like, clothes models ha has ever looked. So the fact that, like, the customization is so stripped back from Sword, which I loved the customization in, that's, that's, that's what's getting me, is I'm like, wow, you, like, had all this fucking, like, great character and, and outfit and, like, fashion modeling work. And you're, you're, I can't use it for the most part? God damn. Okay. I can't say I agree, Chief, but that's the way it's gotta be. Bug. Ew. <laughs> that's, that's, that hat looks bad. A bad looking hat. Part of me is ready to just take the hat off. I, li I like the beanie, and I was excited about matching the beanie with a more stylish kind of kind of vibe that fits it. But um if it's literally just going to be like like it it clashes with everything else, dude. Ooh. <laughs> like otherwise. Actually, I th I think overall this looks good and like it's basic, but you know. Uh, we'll go with that for now, and actually, let's see, let's see if there are any new hairstyles added. I don't think there would be, because there was a lot in the main. I think this is literally just so you can change it. Oh, there are! Awesome! Cool. God, it's expensive, though. Whoa. Ooh, there's a lot. Oh, these are really cute. These are very cute. Whoa! Oh, I love that. Oh my god! What the fuck? The hair! The hair is so cute! Bruh, bruh, that is Penny Parker. You're not wrong. That actually, like, that actually is. I, I know I said earlier, um, I know I said last stream that Long Bob was my hairstyle. Uh, medi medium curls is actually closer. Like, actually, this is extremely close to what my hair looks like, you know, like, fresh, freshly styled. I'm gonna do it. What about colors? Light denim blue. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, scarlet and violet. That's that's funny. Yeah, we're sticking with wine red. Thanks. Very nice. Holy <laughs> shit, it's funny they put you in. Yeah, well, I mean, like, the... 
This is not is you know it's like it's it's close enough to me that like I I can identify with it and it feels nice and fun, but also like it's different enough that it's it's not technically me. It's Nvidia. It's it's like a it's like a some kind of it's some kind of social avatar of sorts. I love her. Her hair is going fucking crazy though. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. They put Penny in the metaverse? No, they would never. She would never stay. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to do school. A new notebook. <laughs> cool. Pokemon are so cool. Where do you want to go? New classes. Wow. Oh, this is cool. Director's office, biology lab, home ec room. Did I say there was a home ec class? And a new biology class? That's a lot of stuff. The dorm room. Here, hold on. Let's talk to interest in any classes. Hmm, good evening, Miss Nvidia. What class would you like to take? Biology, math, history, battle studies, home ec. Let's do biology. You'd like biology with Mr. Jacques? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Class begin soon, don't be tardy. Oh, they look normal. Hello, hello, my name is Jacques. And I'll be your Pokemon biology teacher! In my class, we all, we'll all learn about the various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together! I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more from the things you learn here! In today's class, I'll teach you a great way to get to know the Pokemon in more depths! If you'd like to become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them come out of their Pokeball and walk along with you! Sounds great, huh? You can use the ZR button to throw a Pokeball and let us see Pokemon inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around underfoot, if you ask me. Once you let your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. They are sure to respond in some way. It's a great way to get to know them better. However, letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Can anyone tell me where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? Um, inside buildings. That's right! Great job, Nvidia! I see you did your homework! The correct answer is that we should not walk with our Pokémon indoors! How about that? I've been seeing fucking Pokémon all over this goddamn school, are you kidding me? There are Pokémon flying around fucking everywhere in this school! Some Pokémon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings! So it's not allowed regardless of the species! Therefore, please only let your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs while outdoors. Okay, everyone. I think I see them out and about in classrooms from time to time, but still. <laughs> okay, they did address it. Oh, <laughs> it's just <laughs> such a fucking weak ass way to justify that. <laughs> just don't <laughs> make this a rule. <laughs> just, just let us understand that it's a game limitation that we can't do it inside. And we'll just intuit that. Pointing it out in this way is like that, like takes you out of it more. 
Yeah, it's fine unless it's like it's 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 apparently not allowed, but um, but people do it anyway, uh, except for you, player. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokemon pals by walking together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your lead Pokemon. Remember, use the Zia is wait, are this are the classes literally just different ways to do tutorials? I thought I was gonna fucking get something from this. I didn't get anything from that. It was literally just a tutorial. That was just a fucking tutorial. Stop. Look and look how many fucking Pokemon are. They are all over the place. Look! These ones have a fucking cult! Right under the stairs! There are Pokemon all over this school! And you're telling me they're they're not allowed? <laughs> what the fuck? That was so dumb! I'm never doing another class ever again! That was awful! <laughs> Fuck. All right, I'm leaving. Bye. You're telling me teachers lie. Apparently. Apparently. Dropping out of Pokemon school. This sucks. Oh my god. Don't stay in school, kids. Awful. They'll fucking lie to you. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go talk to Z Z Zavik. <laughs> Forgot his name. Arvin! Right, sorry. Go talk to Zavik. I'm joining Team Star. I have wanted to join Team Star since the very beginning. I truly think they're onto something. They sound based as fuck. What did I tell you? What happened? Hello? Ah! You can exit the, through the gate by doing that? I just canonically jumped all the way across over to here. Oh shit, another raid. And another picnic. Pikachu! Hi. Hello. Ew. What's up? It's me, Young Goose. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, no. Young Goose, no, please. Who are you? I, no, not you. Okay, you. Thank you. What is this? Nakali? I've never seen this before in my life! That's just a fucking- that's just a Minecraft motherfucker. I don't even know- uh, what type? This is- Hey! Get splashed on! Ah! It's super effective, apparently. So this must be- <laughs> Oh, it's rock type! Get in there! Nakli was caught. Ah! <laughs> it was born in a layer of rock salt deep under the earth. This species was particularly treasured in the old days as they would share precious salt. Rock type. Well, we got our first rock type. That's great. Um, dude's rock. Who are going to be named? Hmm. You're gonna need him snap. Okay, what 
you got going on Snap? Rock throw, mud shot, smackdown. You got a good move set right off the bat. I admire that. Um, you can you can stay with me. Stay with me for a little bit. Let's take uh, let's take. I don't know, I guess Wiglet out of here. You a new kid? <laughs> I'll destroy you, new kid. Okay, this is fairy type. So... I should... What was... What is, what's strong against fairy? Poison and steel. Well... We don't, we don't have any, any we don't have anything steel type necessarily, but we do have. Uh, I think Bree has a poison move. No, it has some one of one of these motherfuckers has a poison move. I know that. I know it. Oh, I think it's might be Mocherry. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and then very strong against fighting Dark and Dragon, which is fine. We don't. Well, actually, we do have a Dragon type. I forget who it is though. Uh, so let's let's bring Mocherry in here. Um, let's replace. Probably replace Margaret with Mocherry. And Bree is fine to have. Because Bree is fairy type. And. Well, actually, Bree has, like. Dark type. Oh, this is ghost type. Dark type and ghost type. Oh, ghost. Ghost doesn't really interact with a whole lot. So, okay, I think honestly, we're uh, this is I, I think I have I have a poison move. So otherwise, I think what I need to do is go for just like raw level um, advantage. Oh, your Terra type is dragon. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, so but normally you're just a water type. As long as I don't Terra type, it might be good to go. And you're you're one of my larger level Pokemon. So why don't I throw you in there instead of Snap? then Margaret can actually come back and replace... Let's just say Crash. Oh, we... Uh, this is almost all the women. Okay. This, is, this should be fine. Whatever. So, now, let's move Mocheri up here so we can start with Poison. And uh, let's just let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh wait! Oh you! Oh right! This is right. The raids you got to go in with. Oh, hello. I didn't press anything, but I guess we're going. You got to go in with only a single Pokemon. That's fine. There's I, there's no weaknesses here, I believe. Who are you? Terry, battle, you're trying to defeat a Terra Pokemon within a time limit. If your Pokemon is knocked out, will be revived. You also take a time penalty. Also perform a special action. Why did we not... <laughs> Wait, did we not get this for the first <laughs> Terra raid we did? <laughs> Jerry, for your side. Do things like boosting the stats of the Pokemon on your side or helping them recover their health. Perform cheers three times per battle. Okay. Um. 
Okay. We can terrestrialize after three attacks. I just wish I could... I wish I paid attention to what the terrestrialize type is. Oh, it's grass still. Okay, that's, that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, poison! Get poisoned, idiot! Boom! That'll do it. No, no, no! Oh, now we're confused. Okay. No! Oh, you still did it. No, it hurt itself! Fuck! No, don't kiss me. Don't kiss me, it won't feel good. I will not feel better. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Idiot. Hey, two can play at that game. Watch this. Uh-oh. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Stop! Stop! No! No way! That's fine. We have a couple tries. What is every- is- is anyone else doing anything? Hello? Uh... Go all out. We are- we are- Destroy this motherfucker. Ava! Ava! Evan! Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm still confused? Don't tell me. Oh my god. I'm so mad. <laughs> so mad. This is a disaster. I don't have anything that can... Hang tough! I don't- I really don't know how I feel about the raids in this one. I truly, like, there's so much information happening all at once, all the time. Ah, oh, goddammit. Shit. Oh, we snapped out of it. Oh, that would have been a great time to use Absorb then. Fuck. Oh no, she's gone. Bye. And I think that's it. There's time left. Come on. Oh, we're about to lose. What is- what is everyone doing? Nobody's doing anything! What the fuck? Nobody's doing- it. okay, now we're doing something. Damn it. Ugh. That was annoying. <laughs> that was really annoying. All right. Can we try again? Oh, we can. Okay, we can try the same one. Nice. All right. Um, Jesus. Okay. Well, so we know... You know it has an ice-type move. Maybe we just... Maybe we just bring Mordecai in there. Honestly. At this point. 
Like, I was dying so easily. Like, being able to poison wasn't doing a whole lot. <laughs> that terror raid was so bad. I think I'll try it a second time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how hard can it be? If you use Terror yourself, I think it's easier, but I don't think the AI teammates use them. I, I don't think I was ever able to use it. I was like, I was looking at it. It seemed like it was still grayed out the whole time. I think probably because I kept painting. All right, Mordecai. Uh, please lower Iggly Buff's attack. This is not good. Oh my god, this is not good. I'm so <laughs> irritated. And of course. All right. Yeah, the the confusion like the fact that we can just like immediately get confused. <laughs> it's not it's not helping anything. That single-handedly is making this so much more difficult. Okay. Oh my god. This might be it. Please. Oh, and they're paralyzed. Yes. Uh, die. Thank god. I'll catch it. I'll catch it just because it's there. How's the game? It's still it's still good. I still I still am enjoying it. It's definitely I mean even like aside from performance issues, I'm definitely like, you know there's a few like little things that keep popping up here and there that I'm like, huh. It's a weird choice. Or like, oh maybe that's not like that doesn't feel as good as I thought it would. Um, oh, we got a lot of rewards, though. That was nice. Um, still enjoying it so far, but I'm getting a little frustrated this stream. Then again, maybe maybe it was... I'm literally just speaking from my current frustration at that Terra battle. But, um... I don't know. There's, there's little things, like, you know... The clothing thing is a bummer. I don't know. Not right now. They're playing Scarlet Neat. Violet seems to be very popular. Honestly, the one thing I actually chose Scarlet for, which is uh, Professor uh, Stata, like, we've barely seen her. We saw her in one cutscene. So, like, I'm, you know, I'm kind of starting to regret my choice, if I'm being honest. You. How's uh, Mordecai soon? Fine? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and so, like, you know, not only have we barely seen Stata, but I didn't know that you couldn't fucking change out of the school uniform. So now I'm like, oh, man, like, would I have preferred a fucking purple uniform through the game? Like, I mean, I, I like, I don't know. I, I, I like red, but, you know, it's more orange than red, so. 
I don't know. That's why you let yourself read about some leaks? Man. That's... I don't agree. <laughs> like, like, at, like, I get what you mean, but also, like, why should I have to risk spoiling stuff for myself just on the off chance that the game makes some weird fucking decisions that I don't understand, you know? Like, because it's, it's like a 50-50 shot whether it's like, oh, I'll see something that's like a flaw that I'd like to know ahead of time, but then also it's just as likely that I'll see something like really fucking cool that it's gonna like extremely bum me out that I saw it ahead of time. Like, it, like there's no winning with leaks. That's the thing. That's what... That's what frustrates. That's what frustrates me about leaks is like they're out there, and so many people are talking about them. But it's like a lose-lose situation for me, I should say. Another electric. Nice. Hello, Shinx. Shinx, you will be... When Tara looks better in Scarlet than it is in Violet for me. Do the, do the actual, like, outfits look different? Like, it's not just the colors? Hold on. Yeah, the code is different. You get little shorts in violet. Oh my god. Uh, god, you're right. Wait. Her uniform. Hold on. Pokemon Violet. Uniforms. I need to see these. I can't, I can't find, I can't find what the actual uniforms look like differently. Like, they, people keep showing me the Scarlet uniform. Um, dude, that's such a fucking bummer. Like, I'm sorry, I keep thinking, like, why? Um. Okay. Shinx. You will be named. Uh. Uh, quote. Quote. Charcadet? Charcadet? No way. Okay, I gotta be careful. Mm. Mm, I don't know if I should do water gun. No! Fuck! Damn it! Oh, of course it was a critical. God damn it. Okay, fine. Is there another one? Sell me, please. Oh, no. No. Oh. <gasps> Where are you?
that was the only one in the game, dude. No! <laughs> Stop, don't say that. What the fuck? It, it does seem like that was like a... Like a little... A little opportunity that I missed, though. Ugh. Hey, are there more around here? Oh, shit. We need a fire type, too! Here, hold on. Did we learn anything? No, we don't know anything about it. Wait, habitat. No, it's rare! <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! Why? I'm so mad, man. <laughs> this stream is bumming me out. I know it's like a bunch of little things and a lot of it is like stuff that I like, you know, I can, I can fix myself just by making better choices. But like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not having a bummer of a time this stream. I'm not going to lie. I'm just a little, I'm just a little bit salty this stream. The first stream I was like, oh, this game fucking rules. This is awesome. This is going to be like a new favorite. And then uh, this came along and I'm like, oh yeah, a lot of that is still fun. But like, dude, dude. So mad. I should, you know, I should start catching more. Let me actually go back down there. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't catch a few of those. You, are you fire type maybe? Oh, 18. Well. Lit Leo. Yeah, at least we will one shot this one. Oh, and our attack is falling? This is actually great. You're actually helping me out. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Uh-oh. Uh, get in there. Did not appear to be caught. Oh, thank God. Break up. She's a great ball. Come on. Nice. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Ooh! Bullet seed. Two to five times in a row. Firstly, shooting steeds. Okay. Paralyze, poison. I don't think we need... I don't know if we need paralyze and poison. I don't know which one I would rather have. I'd probably rather have... Oh, well... Oh, you know what? Let, no, let's let's get rid of absorb. Nuzzle. Who wants to learn nuzzle? Ah, pie crust. Acts by nuzzling its electrified cheeks against the target. Also leaves the target with paralysis. Guaranteed. Um, 
Let's get rid of Quick Attack. Let's just go all electric. Litleo! Fire Normal. When Litleo are young, female Pyroar will teach them how to hunt. Once the Litleo mature, they will leave the pride and set out on their own. <laughs> Cute. Um, finally, first fire type. Thank God. Uh, what sh shall she be donned? She will be named... Lydia. Yeah, you're coming with me. Let's get, a uh, Get Wiglet out of here again. Bye-bye, Wiglet. See ya. I'm Wiglet. I know you are. I know you are. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, fuck! First evolution, oh my god. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up my little guy. Oh. Okay, that's fine. This is the way it goes. I know I can stop it if I want, but I don't want to stop it. I want to see. Let's go. Whoa! <laughs> Quaxwell. Okay. Whoa, I don't like the way his legs look. <laughs> Constantly run through shallow waters to train their legs. What the fuck? Alright, Quaxwell. Alright, Quaxwell. Okay. You know what? This could have been a lot worse. His, his legs are like that because of how much he fucking... How much he works them out. <laughs> it still, got, still does the hair thing, though. Yeah, they just... They look like weird pants. He still looks enough like a duck, though, that I'm like, oh, hell yeah. It's fine. Alright. Come on, Mordecai. Dude, my legs are so thick. <laughs> Mordecai, don't say that. What? It's true. Yeah, I got I got hope for the for the final evolution. I think I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be cool. I'm always I'm always gonna miss my little guy, you know. Whoa! Whoa! Hold on. Some like I feel like there's some weird some weird tech you can do. Oh. oh shit, I didn't even see you there. Dude. Dude. Look at <laughs> Look at him, he looks so Oh my god. He actually, honestly, in in his own way, he's actually still so cute. Cause I think he's still like a lot smaller than he looks like he should be. So now it's just like, whoa. And then once you like once you kinda like the, the way the battles work now, where they're, like, right in the middle of the world, you know? And it's not like you get taken to a void zone where the camera makes them look a lot bigger than they are. Like, all of these guys are just so cute, you know? Anyway, uh, run. I don't care.
Dude, Pokemon Center music. One of one of the all-time greats. Wow, no way. <laughs> cool. Oh, we still got a ways to go. Jesus. Oh, I got. I, I got to be catching a lot more. I know. I I literally said that so many times. Um. Okay. I'm a little torn. I'm a little torn between three facts. Fact number one. I want to do at least one like kind of big thing before the stream is over. Fact number two. This stream. Has only been going on for about three and a half hours. Fact number three. I am so fucking tired. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I kind of don't want to be streaming anymore. If I'm being honest. But those other two facts are getting in the way of my confidence to stop right away. But also, I think I think the thing I think the thing is right now. As much as I would love to just, like, you know, do a bunch of, like, fucking six to eight hour streams of this right out the gate. Um, I feel like right now I need to ease into it because, um, you know, I've, I've been, yeah, I'm recovering from some, some sickness, some bad, you know, anxiety sickness. Um, and also, like, I don't know, I'm just kind of tired in general. The past couple weeks have been, like, extremely draining for me. Um, and I need to kind of recuperate my energy, not only so I can, you know, stream more soon, but also, uh, you know, like, Thanksgiving's next week, I'm probably gonna be, you know, taking a trip for that, so it's like, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, so, things might be a little bit slower for the next week or so, I guess, with that in mind. Um... But um, I am gonna, I am gonna, you know, I'm gonna do my best to to throw in a couple more before before that comes around. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, I just, you know, I want to take care. So I, I think I am gonna stop here. Yeah, and you know, people in chat are being are are being very encouraging. Um, I'm sure, it's kind of clear how how <laughs> just like generally exhausted I am. I, I like I can I feel like I can barely talk recently. Um, so yeah, with that. Um, definitely <laughs> some more mixed feelings on this game, this stream. I know it, I know it's very much like, a, like, the close thing I feel like was a catalyst to me, like, being a lot more critical about a lot of different things here. But, I mean, like, it's, I don't know, it was a big deal for me. It's a big deal for me. I, I didn't know that going in, so, like, that was, like, a really big moment of, like, deflation. Um, and it's a small thing in the grand scheme of things, but I, not to me. I, I, I really care about that kind of thing, so... Um, you know, that sucks, but then also, you know, there's a couple other small annoyances I had here and there. I really don't, I don't fully, I, like, I'm starting to get the raid system, but I don't think it feels as good as the, the sword raids. Um, it's faster, sure, but it's also, like, a lot more overwhelming. There's a lot more sensory information you're getting all at once, and it's, like, kind of hard to track. Um, but, um... Yeah, so, uh, otherwise, I mean, I'm still excited about a lot of what this game's doing. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it. I am, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy with a lot of it. I'm happy about just the ambition on display here. I think the, the open world format, I think the open world format is, like, kind of fucking perfect for this game style. Like, I truly do. I think that this is, this is really, really cool. And I think the freedom is awesome. I love how you can, you know, just, you can just mark a gym and just go there. I think that... That's so cool, and it, and it perfectly ties into the the adventurous nature of Pokemon, right? Um, and just, like, seeing everything all around the world, out and about, just walking around. Like, it's all fantastic. I love all that. Um, so I'm excited to play more. I'm really hoping that I kind of settle into it a little bit easier next time. And, uh, so, you know, some of my grievances can maybe grow further and further into the background as we go along. I'm not giving up on this game just yet. I still feel very positively about it overall. 
Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna get some more rest and uh, try and get some of the previous VODs uploaded because things have been really slow on that. And sorry about that. Hopefully God of War Part 3 and Pokemon Scarlet Part 1 will be up soon on Snapcube 2. Either way, I'm gonna head out. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, let me send you over... Let me send you over to Ryan. Ryan is also playing. Let's let's send over to Ryan who is currently playing Violet. So, um, no raid phrase. Just 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 go say hi. Be pleasant. Um, and yeah, take care, everybody. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow. Um, if I do, it'll probably be God of War. So, uh, I guess just just keep your eyes peeled. I'll I'll let y'all know how that's going. If I am, I mean, if I'm not, I probably just won't say anything. <laughs> but like, if I am, I'll let you know, and I'll let you know what it is. Um. And, yeah, I hope everybody has a great night. Uh, please take care. Be good to yourselves, be good to others, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye!